usual construction of flywheel. These are called as rims. These are called as rims. But the maximum mass is at rim. Is it correct? They are never used the solid disc because the, we required this one hollow structure. We cannot use annulus. We cannot use this one. Is the same hub on which the flywheel is to be mounted. So maximum mass is it distributed away from the center. So in this case, I is called as mass moment of inertia of the flywheel is normally given by m k square where k is called as radius of direction the contribution of this rim for this one that is i is total i is the total moment of inertia but if i want to find out only for rim so rim will contribute around 90% of total moment of inertia the rest 10% will be contributed by these hubs or you can say the spokes only 10% 90% is situated on outer side and if you check this one is this total length from here to here is it equals to perimeter this one is perimeter so is this length if you open up is it equal to circumference so what is the length of this one so length of this one is circumference is it 2 pi r and if you see the section here is this is the width and if I draw this will you get a section equals to rectangle so if you multiply by this this section over the length can we find out the volume of the ring so we have a section here the section is something like this is it correct section this one is we can call as width we will call as this one is width and can we call this as thickness you can label this as a you can label this as b then is this is the area or can we say this is the cross sectional area so this one is cross sectional area is a multiplied by b and for the given figure is this area is constant so if they multiply this area with the length can we find out volume so volume will be equals to uh, 2 pi r multiplied by ab and if we know the row the density of material for which it was casted in kg per meter cube can we find out mass of this so mass of this one will be density multiplied by volume so this equals to rho multiplied by 2 pi r multiplied by ab in kg inertia in general mass moment of inertia is defined as integral of r square into dm so we want to find out the mass moment of inertia of a ring is similar to flywheel so this one is a thin ring we can model this one as the ring uh, just by neglecting the mass contribution by these spokes so we have a mass here that is this mass let call this mass equals to what dm and is this mass is situated at radius equals to r or we can say radius equals to okay radius equals to capital r so is the mass anywhere you take is it at constant distance r so is the value of r here is variable or is constant value constant value so i will be equals to this r is replaced by r square is it integral of dm and is the integral of dm total mass so value of i for this case is m r square so if you compare this equation and this equation then is the radius of gyration is same as the radius this time we will consider a solid disc so if you consider the solid disc we have a same x and y axis to solve this problem of solid disc this solid disc has a mass equals to capital M but the problem is that is all particles on this anywhere does they have a different value of radius so how are you going to compute the moment of inertia for a solid disk 
thickness I am not sure is perpendicular to plane but this does have thickness to solve that problem we will take the help of this elemental ring we have taken here one elemental area what is the circumference of this area 2 pi r what is the thickness of this one dr so what is the area of this one 2 pi r dr over this one I say the mass equals to what dm and the total mass equals to what capital M is it spread over the area pi r square so from this equation can we able to find out the value of dm so value of dm will be equals to m is multiplied by 2 pi r small r multiplied by dr divided by pi r square so value of dm equals to uh, this one is m and this pi is cancelled is it equals to 2 small r into dr divided by capital r square what is the special about this ring for this ring is the mass is evenly distributed at radius equal to small r so if i able to find out the moment of inertia for this one is it equals to dm multiplied by r square that is the moment of inertia of this small ring and is this total area is consist of such small ring so i have to compute the total area total moment of inertia is it simply integral of r square multiplied by dm right so let put this value back this equals to dm equals to what m into 2r divided by r square this is replacement for this term dr i have not written first i will write down r square and is it multiplied by dr again for this one is it 0 to capital r so m is constant r square is constant even 2 is constant does it become r cube integral of r cube is r to the power 4 upper limit is r lower limit is 0 so is this answer is r to the power 4 divided by 4 this 2 and this 2 is cancelled one of the r square is cancelled is this equation is 1 by 2 m r square sigma equals to tensile stress or hoop stress in newton per meter square due to centrifugal force now this flywheel is continuously rotating so it will going to produce the centrifugal force in that case we have the hoop stress produced and which was normally given as rho sorry sigma equals to density of material that is rho multiplied by linear velocity linear velocity is v and you can find out linear velocity anytime using pi d n by 60 that is called as linear velocity this one is velocity square rho v square is sigma sigma is called as hoop stress so 